My name is Spencer Brown, and my position is Service Desk Supervisor. I started in February of last year, uh, 2023, as a contractor, and then came on full-time in May of 2023. Prior to Plow, I was working for a company called Upstream Rehabilitations. I was a Tier 2 team lead for them, um, so I was responsible for managing the Tier 2 team, uh, managing projects, um, and also they acquired the previous company I worked for, um, so I was brought over as a, a subject matter expert um, for the applications that uh, that previous company supported. What got me in IT, um, I feel like it's a pretty common story for a lot of people that do it. I was, I was pretty much a nerd in high school, um, you know, played video games on my computer, and uh, I think my, my good set of friends one day, uh, at the time they were new to my high school, um, overheard me talking about playing games on a computer and uh, approached me and turned out we had similar interests. And so pretty much every weekend from then on out, uh, we would pick one of our houses and uh, go over and sit down together, play games. Um, and, you know, inherently uh, that means that we were interested in, uh, you know, the latest technology, having a monitor that makes your game look better or uh, a computer that runs the game better. Um, and, and that kind of got me thinking about IT as a career. It took me a while after that to actually wind my way back to it. Um, I actually went to college uh, as an English major um, and kind of dabbled in software development for a little bit, uh, but ultimately came back to um, IT services, IT management, uh, and realized that uh, you know it's something that was a hobby of mine uh, for the longest time and that I had an opportunity that maybe not too many people have, which is to turn a hobby into a career. That's that's really what got me thinking about starting out here. And, and luckily I had a good base, uh, built computers before, and uh, that helped me alongside with school land my first uh, technician job. I got introduced to Plow, um, the company that I was working for. I ended up looking for another opportunity um, and actually utilized a staffing agency uh, that actually placed me at my first job. And one of the first options, one of the first names that came up was Plow Networks. It was the first time that I'd seen a job opportunity at an MSP, uh, which I thought was really interesting as well. Um, and based on everything that I had read and researched uh, with Plow, it seemed like a very uh, interesting uh, fit and a good fit for me. As a service desk supervisor, uh, my day-to-day -day can be really variable. Um, it really just depends on uh, what happens to pop up during that day. So um, typically what I can expect is queue management. Um, so I'm responsible for one of our tier one teams uh, as well as our tier two team. Um, so I'm responsible for auditing that queue, making sure tickets are up to date, um, checking for anything that needs to be escalated uh, to a level three or an engineer. Typically I'm running reports on a day-to-day -day basis, um, whether that be SLA adherence that I'm passing along um, to our directors uh, and all the way on up the chain, um, or just building out a custom report uh, to find specific information that uh, I need to figure out in order to uh, make decisions on how we need to approach uh, a customer or a client. Typically man management, um, so I'm building out schedules weekly, making sure we have coverage across the board 24 by 7, you know, as well as scheduling vacations, coverage for those time off. And then beyond that, it's it's really reacting to whatever happens to come in. So a uh, critical issue comes in uh, that takes precedent over pretty much everything else. So I'll be involved with uh, communicating back and forth between the customer uh, and our agents to make sure that the issue is being handled. If it's a more critical or high priority issue, um, that often involves communicating between teams here at Plow, uh, getting our network operations center involved, getting an engineer involved if needed. And then beyond that, uh, really a lot of uh, process improvements uh, when I have the time. So looking at what we do, trying to figure out if we're doing it efficiently, how we can make changes to processes and procedures, um, and, and doing things that make sense uh, for how we want them to work at Plow. I would say in the time that I've been here, my favorite thing uh, about the role is just the amount of trust uh, and responsibility uh, that is being relinquished over to me um, from my director and, and higher on up in the company. It's not something that is particularly common uh, at the previous companies I worked for, being larger companies, kind of 2,000 plus employees. 
Uh, I think things are very rigid at that point. Processes are, are already well-defined. And when I came here at Plow, it was very apparent right off the bat um, that I was going to be trusted with uh, a lot more responsibilities than I was used to, um, which uh, at times was scary um, and pretty nerve wracking. Uh, but as I settled into the role, as I got comfortable uh, with the company, um, it really helped me grow. Um, as a professional um, and it allowed me to step outside of my comfort zone and has as a result uh, given me exposure to uh, a lot of areas that I, I've never really had a chance to get involved with before um, you know the billing side of things the overall big picture of the company and, and where it is going um, as it grows uh, as well as just uh, basic responsibilities over the people that report to me um, I was used to acting more as a deputy uh, in my previous roles where, where I had limited exposure to what decisions I was allowed to make. But immediately coming here at Plow, um, I was approving time off, um, you know, hiring people. That was a first for me. I did my first interview at Plow and, and making those sort of higher level decisions uh, and, and knowing that I had full autonomy when it came to the decisions I made in building out my team uh, has really led me, I think, to, to flourish. Um, and I definitely would not be uh, I think as, as consummate of a professional as I am um, without that trust being placed in me by, um, by my director and, and those, uh, the executives in the company as well. The changes that I've seen, have, it's been uh, a complete 180, completely different than the first day that I walked in. Um, I came in as a team lead with two people reporting to me. Um, and I think within six or seven months that uh, blossomed up into a, sur a supervisor role with, I think I capped out at around 12 people reporting to me um, on two separate teams. Since that point, since I came on board, moved uh, into a 24 by seven uh, service desk support center. Uh, so we went from uh, eight to five, Monday through Friday to uh, all the time having to have someone available. So we built out a dedicated after hour support team uh, dedicated weekend support team. And, and beyond all of that, I think the company has maybe at this point doubled uh, in size since I started, um, which is pretty crazy to think. Um, just a, a really massive amount of growth for just over a year uh, since I've been here. So um, it, it's really hard to pinpoint one thing. I, I would really just say everything has changed positively since I've come on board. So if someone was looking to get into IT as a career, I think that typically that falls into two categories. You have people who are uh, in school and looking to get their first job. Um, and then another large section is uh, people who are looking to make a career change. Um, and there's a lot of overlap between those two and what you can do uh, to secure your first job. In my experience, uh, what has helped me in my career, um, if you're a student, uh, internships go a long way. Um, I worked two internships while I was uh, in college. Um, I found those actually just posted on a bulletin board on campus uh, in the, the building that most of the IT uh, you know, courses were being held from. And they were very simple things. You know, I, I didn't go straight into working on a, a service desk. Um, I worked an internship for a company in Nashville uh, that was refreshing a bunch of Windows 7 computers that went end of life. And so I just sat in an office in the basement with five or six other people and re-imaged computers and transferred documents over and did that eight hours a day for three or four months. And while I didn't necessarily gain uh, help desk skills, um, I did get to see how the help desk was run because I was working with people who worked on the help desk. I was able to ask them questions. I was able to watch their workflow uh, and understand what skill sets were needed in order to make a jump into that role. Another thing I'll suggest is staffing agencies. It can be really hard trying to filter through all the job postings, hoping that you get a call back. I mean, you can do that all day, every day, and not get a call back. But IDR or another staffing agency is going to be able to take your resume, get it in front of hiring managers, um, and, and more often than not, um, get you a call back and get that interview. Beyond that, I would really just say, don't limit your uh, scope to just IT jobs. Look for entry level positions. For instance, we hired uh, a dedicated team for one of our customers um, that just did basically call center roles. Um, they were taking hundreds of phone calls a day, uh, working very simple ticket types. Um, and as a result, several of those uh, team members have now moved on to our senior tier one team after they got some experience and uh, exposure to 
those skills that are needed to operate in a call center. With my role here at Plow, what I'm looking forward to the most uh, is more exposure to the business side of things. As I mentioned previously, I have had uh, the luxury um, of being uh, given some responsibilities that revolve around the billing side of things, um, how we are tracking uh, endpoints and, and what we're billing customers for within the systems that I support, and, and the overall big picture as a whole uh, with Plow as a company. Of course, for the company as a whole, I'm really excited to see where we're going to be a year from now, five years from now. It's hard to paint a picture of exactly what that's going to look like, but if we continue on the same path as we are now, um, it's going to be a pretty exponential uh, growth uh, in terms of employees uh, that we have, in terms of customers that we're supporting. And then beyond that, of course, uh, is our, our ever-growing and adapting catalog of products that we support um, or what we're offering to our customers. Uh, it's always interesting to see what we're developing, uh, whether that be an internal tool or an external tool uh, to provide to our customers learning more about that, learning how to support it. Case in point, the uh, AI initiative that we had uh, recently here, um, helping my team actually triage tickets um, and trying to kind of game plan around that and say, how can we make this work for a customer down the line? Or how can we apply this within our company outside of what we're already doing uh, to make our lives a little bit easier? You know, my, my director said to me, when I was interviewing that I was gonna learn more here in a year than I had at all my previous jobs combined. Uh, and that's absolutely the case. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm just really excited to see how far that takes me down the road.